Ever listen to a transcript and wonder, who actually said what? In industries like media, healthcare, and call centers, knowing who's speaking isn't just a nice to have, it's critical. Speaker diarization rhization is the process of splitting an audio recording into segments by speaker. Imagine you have a five minute conversation between two people. Without diarization rhization, you just get one long transcript. But with diarization, the system labels each part, like speaker A and speaker B, so you know exactly who's talking and when. It's not just about transcribing words, it's about adding structure and meaning to conversations, powering everything from searchable meeting notes to AI-driven analytics. To illustrate, we'll use the Assembly AI Playground to test diarization in action. From your Assembly AI dashboard, click on the Playground button in the upper right corner. Upload your own audio file or select the podcast example, then click Transcribe File. To hear the audio file, click on the Play button. Speech between speaker one and two are clearly segmented. Also notice how speaker one's listening affirmations do not pollute speaker two's transcription. The right way, Aubrey. What are we gonna do? Exactly, right? So imagine you're having some kind of struggle, difficulty, a problem that you don't feel like you can handle on your own. You need a friend's advice. You wanna Mm -hmm. talk over what you can do to fix the problem. And before deciding- So why does diarization rhization matter? Let's look at a few real world examples. Call center QA, supervisors can review conversations and instantly jump to the moments a specific rep was speaking. Meeting transcription, tools like Zoom can generate accurate meeting notes, properly attributing ideas to the right people. Media and podcasts, accurate captions improve accessibility and viewer experience. But here's the catch. Poor diarization rhization leads to noisy data, misattributed quotes, broken analytics, and confused end users. If a system can't tell your CEO from your intern, your insights will be unreliable. Not all diarization rhization APIs are created equal. Here are the key factors to look at when comparing them. One diarization rhization error rate DER measures how accurate the speaker segmentation is. Lower is better. Visualize it like this. A low DER means the transcript matches the true conversation closely, while a high DER is full of mismatches and missing labels. Two, speaker confusion. Even with good segmentation, the system might mix up who's who. This is especially critical in legal, medical, or compliance scenarios where accuracy matters. Three, overlapping speech. Handling real conversations often have interruptions or people talking at the same time. Many APIs struggle here, but a good model will capture both voices without blending them into one. Fourth, latency and cost. If you're building a real-time application, like live captioning, low latency is essential. And for large-scale deployments, cost per hour of audio can make or break your budget. Choosing the right speaker diarization solution depends on your needs, accuracy, processing speed, integration complexity, and whether you prefer a managed API or open source flexibility. The top options include both commercial and research toolkits. Assembly AI leads for production accuracy with major improvements in noisy conditions, ultra short segments, and a best in class 2.9% speaker count error rate. It supports 16 languages and integrates easily with speaker labels. Gladia combines OpenAI's whisper transcription with Pyanote's diarization rhization, making it a natural add on for teams already using whisper. On the open source side, Pyanote offers state of the art diarization rhization models widely used in research. NVIDIA Nemo brings an innovative end-to-end transformer-based approach optimized for GPU users. Caldi remains a staple for highly configurable academic research pipelines, and SpeechBrain, built on PyTorch, provides over 200 recipes for research and prototyping. In short, APIs like Assembly AI and Gladia are best for production and enterprise deployments, while Py, Anote, Nemo, Caldi, and SpeechBrain serve researchers and developers who need flexibility and customization. You can try Assembly AI's diarization yourself. Just sign up for a free API key and start testing your own audio files. Links are in the description. Thanks for watching, and if you're interested in more content on Speech AI and related technologies, check out our other videos, and don't forget to subscribe.